Okay, so welcome back to the second part of our World Travel Maps video tutorial. So continuing on from where we left off, uh, in this video we're going to be looking at three more things to finish our map animation. It's this um, opening transition, this uh, custom UI element that gives us an itinerary of our trip, and finally a couple of camera effects like this vignette um, that you see kind of over here. So perhaps we can actually start on that and take a look at the couple of camera effects. For that, I switch back to my demo comp, uh, select my camera controls, and over here we have some effects. So if I scrub through this, you will see that at the very beginning we have a slow camera motion where it uh, zooms in on our map. This can be a nice effect to add at the very start, uh, so your map doesn't just open up there sitting dead. And so that's driven by this guy over here, called uh, Initial Camera Zoom. I can also switch it to zoom out, and it will zoom out like that. Or I can switch it to none, and naturally that will remove any camera motion from the opening of the shot. We can also change the duration of our transition to say 4 seconds, to make it a little longer. We can add a vignette here, where you can see the edges of the map get, uh, get a little darker. And I can also add some animated noise, which, uh, which is essentially this texture that gets overlaid over our map uh, to give it some motion. It tends to work quite well with uh, the watercolor or the paper cutout uh, color themes. And so in our case, I'm going to tick that off. So next, let's add an opening transition and see how that works. So for that, I go back to my dashboard. I open my opening transitions comp over here. And in here, we have some instructions on how to use it. But since I know it already, I'll just copy this layer, open my map comp, and paste it back here at the very top. And as you can see, there's our opening transition using a, a burn-in effect. Now to adjust that, I want to go into my comp, select this adjust transition layer, here uh, change it from burn in to sliding lines. Uh, I'll change my texture to a solid color and then white is fine. And here's my opening transition. But, uh, but it's actually a little hard to see so that's why if I if we, take another, if we take another look at our example, you can see that I created this double effect with a darker color. So for that, I duplicated the opening transition. I offset it by a couple of frames and, and then I added a generate, fill, and set my color to blue, sort of something like this. Okay, I think I also might have sped this up by, uh, by stretching it to 80%. So let's do a quick preview. All right, and that's a pretty cool opening transition that we just added to our map. Um, okay, so now the last thing we need to do here is create that uh, trip itinerary. For that, once again, we go back to our dashboard Select this guy here, which uh, contains all of our UI elements. And then I'm going to be using this guy here called uh, UI element, uh, timeline, portrait, dates, and locations. Uh, I know, great name, but, uh, but uh, you're free to suggest a better one. Uh, I copy it, and I'm going to position it above the camera and below the two transition layers. Now, I want this to kind of start the animation in just um, as we, just as our transition is almost complete. Now, if I want, I can move it to the left-hand side, but, um, but I actually think I'm going to leave it here on the, on the right. And I'm going to reduce its size to, say, 85%. 
All right, so let's go into this and start adjusting some of its content. I double click and that uh, opens my comp. Okay, so here we have uh, the actual UI element itself. And then this layer here is where we can customize its design. We can enable a color palette that's based on our current uh, map color theme. Uh, or we can change the color of our selected element to say a pink color. And finally adjust the width to say 400, um, maybe 430 uh, to kind of tighten it up a bit. Okay, and then if I want to start changing this copy, I have to do it over here. So I'm going to call this um, uh, maybe leaving Dubai. Then uh, uh, Hola Madrid. Then this guy, uh, what are we going to call it? Um, we'll call it Pizza in Chicago. Uh, and then let me call this the end and as you can see all of our titles have now updated over here so now this guy has uh, five elements but we only need four so I'll go back to my designer and change this to four then this element animator is the layer that contains all of the animation for animating this element uh, and the way this works is that every keyframe has a number which dictates which item should be selected. So we have uh, item one, then item two, then keyframe with uh, number two again, because I want to hold on uh, on it till our animation starts moving again. Uh, and then it's three and so on and so on and so on. Okay, so now let's just sync up this animation with our main travel map. So, what I want to do here is find a point at which the airplane is taking off from Dubai. So this point is where my item one ends. And then, uh, then I'm going to look for a point where the airplane lands in Madrid. So say somewhere over here. And this is where I set my second point so that the UI changes to the second item. Now let's see how long we hold on Madrid. Yeah, okay, here. So we hold Madrid to here, then switch back and find a point where we land in Chicago. Uh, at this point, I wanted to get to number three. And then basically, we'll just repeat this process till we have all of the items synced up. And uh, and I actually think that's all, as in our whole animation is finished. So let's just preview it one last time. All right, and that's our animation done. Once again, I hope this demo gave you a good understanding on how to use this template and just how easy it is to create complex animations using these um, almost drag and drop systems. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave us a comment in the comment section below. And I wish you guys all the best creating your own animations using this template.